Boom! Look at that, guys. It doesn't even say I opened it, so... What's up guys, the TechSpot here, and one of the most viewed videos on my channel was how to increase your Snapchat score, and that video got over a million views. I was honestly not expecting it, but because that video was so popular, I thought I'd make another Snapchat video because I get this question a lot. Many people are asking me, well, how do I screenshot, view a Snapchat or a message or a Snapchat story without the other person knowing or without actually opening it and having it viewed as read or opened? Well, let me tell you something. In 2020, it's kind of hard to do that, but there still is a way and is working flawlessly. And I feel like this method will always work 100% of the time. There's no way Snapchat can patch this so it's a cool little life hack to know so with that said let's get started this video is sponsored by universe universe is a website builder made for your phone you can design build and grow your audience with your website all from the palm of your hand you basically use these blocks and drag and drop them to create your own personalized website anyone can get started with universe for free and you can upgrade to the pro to unlock tons of extra features like the ability to accept payments upgrade to a custom domain and unlimited storage for all your content and media. With Universe, it's super simple and easy to create your own website, and Universe is only available for iOS. If you wanna give it a shot and try it out, use a link that'll be down below in the description. All right, guys, so I have two iPhones over here that I'm gonna be using to test this hack on. This is gonna be my test device right over here, and this is the actual iPhone that we're gonna be using the experiment on. So what I'm gonna do is first, I'm gonna open up Snapchat, and I'm going to take a Snapchat. I'm just gonna go ahead and send it over to that device. So there is me, and this is a test account. So anyways, I'm just gonna send it over, and just like that, we do get Snapchat. Now I'm gonna open up Snapchat, swipe over, and there is a Snapchat right there. So what I'm gonna do is for this trick is step one is to put your device into airplane mode. So swipe down over here and put your device into airplane mode. Once your Wi-Fi is off, that's very important, and cellular is off. So now we could do whatever we want. For example, I could open up the Snapchat, right? And there it is. I could go and take a screenshot. Boom, I took a screenshot. I could go and save it. And I know this is creepy, but anyways, I could go to tap right here. And you guys could see right now, it does say that I have it opened, but I'm still in airplane mode, okay? So the changes are not actually on the Snapchat server. So we are still good to go, don't worry. And the same thing goes for stories. If I head over to stories, again, same thing. So I'm gonna click on one right here. I can also go ahead and screenshot it, boom. And I can also go ahead and see I opened it, but don't worry, it's not actually opened, okay? We are still good on this device, so that is a good sign. So now what you wanna do is exit out of Snapchat and close out of the app completely. I don't know why I'm using this wallpaper, but it was yellow, so I thought I'd use it for this video because it looks kind of cool. So now what we want to do is actually go ahead and tap and hold on the app and delete Snapchat, all right? I told you guys, this is a few steps, and if you really are in dire need, this will work 100% of the time, all right? So I did delete Snapchat. Now what we want to do is go back to the app store, and you guessed it, we are going to re-download Snapchat. So of course, you have to put your device out of our airplane mode so that app store can load up because it doesn't need internet but it still works, all right? So App Store is now working. Let's go in the search, type in Snapchat, just like that, hit search, and we are going to download Snapchat. All right, so it's now downloading. I'm gonna X out of here, and it's gonna show up on a blank spot. There it is. I'm actually gonna put it back in the same spot as where it was, so edit home screen, and let's go actually gonna put it back while we're waiting for it to download, and it was right there. All right, cool. All right, so there it is, done, no funny business. This is a real Snapchat app. Oh, and by the way, since this is a real Snapchat app, you will never get banned for this, okay? It's completely fine to do. And so yeah, this is the actual Snapchat application. And anyways, now what we're gonna do is open up Snapchat and we're gonna log in. So I'm gonna use my username and password, face ID, coming in clutch, all right, log in. And now we are logging into Snapchat. Of course, gonna ask us for a microphone and camera and all that stuff, so gonna accept all of it. There's my email. And all right, so Snapchat is working. Now let's go back over here and boom, look at that guys. It doesn't even say I opened it. So now it was sent some time back. So I did send over some previous Snapchats as well from before and yeah, so it works. So again, swiping over, I could see even the 
stories that are open are showing that it, they are not actually open so that is super super cool so yeah let's go back over here and on this device the test device that we sent it from yeah i could see there are no notifications that means we are in the clear now if i go and open up snapchat on this device and swipe over yeah i could see screen's a little bright but still says delivered five minutes ago so anyways now let's go and actually open up the snapchat boom it's open now and I did send two, so you can see I tapped twice. So I was testing this out before, and the second one just opened it. All right, so, and again, this trick will work 100% of the time, no jail break, and Snapchat can't really patch this one. Again, it's a few steps, but it works. Anyways, guys, I really do hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please be sure to leave me a thumbs up. That really does help me out a ton, and I really do appreciate it. Also, be sure to subscribe for tons more content. This is the TechSpot, and peace out.